close this door here. All right, you guys show me attention. And bow. All right, student tenants begin. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, courage, community, and bow. Yeah, it's unique. All right, where's my remote? Oh, it's back here. So what we're gonna do, guys, for our warm up is gonna do a couple different things. First, 45 seconds. What I want you to do is you're gonna lift up your knees. You're gonna keep your hands kind of uh, belly button or waist high. And we're gonna lift up our knees and bring our knees to our hands for 45 seconds. Okay? All right, let's go for it. All right, so hands here, lifting up the knees. 45 seconds. Well, hello there, Mr. Mudd. Good to see you. Should have worn my knee brace today. It's all right. 12 seconds. All right, guys, so for this next one, what we're going to do is for our first 45 seconds, we're going to kind of step out into a sitting stance, a squat, and then we're going to bring our foot in, and then we're going to side kick. We'll step out and squat, in, side kick, squat, try kick, just like that. And then the next 45 seconds, we'll switch feet and go the other direction. Okay. So, squat and kick. Squat, kick. Squat, kick. Uh, all right, a little bit of rest, then we're going to go to the other side, squat and kick, this way. Actually, I did the backwards. Here, boom. Go for it. Ten seconds. Time. All right, let's go ahead and let's get into our stretches. Arms forward. Backwards. Now uh, coming across.
up and down. All right. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stretch out the neck. We're gonna take our head up and down. Look left and right. And go and touch your ears to your shoulders. And circle. Out of a direction. And hit side to side. Circle. The other direction. All right, so here we're just gonna drop down and we're gonna do our cobra stretch. Cat back up on the hands and knees. Sit back. All right, now we're going to get into our torso twist. So we're going to take one knee down or a leg straight, one foot over across, hand and turn. Switch. All right, now take the feet wide. Kind of reaching down, grabbing one side. If you can reach to your foot, awesome. If not, as far as you can, then taking the other hand up and over.
switch to the other side. Good. All right. Butterfly. Nose down the toes. All right, go ahead and stand up. All right, guys, so from here, first thing that I wanna get into is we're going to learn a kick combination. And it's a crescent kick combination, three different kinds of crescent kick. So we have our inside crescent kick, our outside crescent kick, and then we're gonna do it, go into a spin, okay? So let's break it down a little and let's just start with the inside crescent kick variation. So what we do for an inside crescent kick, I'm gonna start with my feet and shoulder width apart or so. I'm gonna take one leg coming from the outside, it's gonna swing in and land with my feet crossed, then I step it back. So again, my foot comes from the outside, nice and straight leg, comes across and step it back. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set a timer for 45 seconds. We're gonna do 45 seconds, one leg, and switch. Then we're gonna do outside crescent kicks, 45 seconds. And then we'll get into our spins. All right, go for it. Inside crescent kicks, only one leg. Coming in until the feet cross, stepping back. Oops, don't fall over. Good. Now, the wider the technique, the easier the kick is and the better the kick is. Okay. Just come in really big full circle. Good. Five seconds. All right, 10 second rest, and we're gonna hit the other side. Two, one, and go. Now, if you land with yourself a little bit, turning around backwards, if you go here, that's okay, because that's going to lead into our next thing here in a little bit. Now, something just to kind of help you guys out a little bit. As I was coming up through the ranks, I used to imagine if I had like a splint or two pieces of wood wrapped around my leg and it wouldn't let it bend. That's what you want to think about. Okay, so from here, guys. Next time. Now, outside crescent kicks, the ones that we always know and love. So for this one is the exact opposite of the one we did. Comes from an across position and circles out. So you can start by stepping in the foot across this way, or if you have it already, you can just go ahead and just do it. And just make that full motion. All right, 45 seconds, one leg only. Outside crescent kick. Yeah, this also really helps 
with stretching the legs out, loosen up the hips. Breathe, Justin. <laughs> Right. Mari, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. I can't see you, but I hope you're doing good. All right, time. All right, a little bit of a break. Then we're going to hit the other foot, and then we're going to add our next section. Other foot coming across now. Go. Now, real quick, now, I just want to kind of give you guys a little tip here. This is something that I didn't even know I was aware of until someone had pointed it out to me. When you're doing any kind of kick where your body is forward, so axe kicks, front kicks, and crescent kicks where your hips are forward, you want to try to keep your hips not exactly engaged, but just keep your posture up as you're going through the kick. Because a lot of times what will happen is we'll go to do it and we lean. We kind of think about sitting backwards and we get this. It actually works against us in that kick. We lean backwards. Our weight goes backwards. We won't be able to get the leg up very high. So we want to think good posture. The, my lower back is kind of pushed in. And I go here. And just letting my legs do the work. Okay. If we lean forward, your kick goes lower. Lean too far backwards and we lose our balance. So you just want to kind of be standing up straight and tall, okay? I find I do that more on my left side than my right, just because having to do with my knee problems and things, but you want to try to stay up as tall as you can. 25 seconds left. Outside. And time. Lord, this remote. Okay. So from here, guys, now adding on to this combination, what we're going to do is we're going to go to an inside crescent kick. And just to start, we're only going to do this about five times. I'm going to do that inside crescent kick. I want you to turn yourself all the way around. That's all. Just to get the motion to kind of get used to that. So we're going to go in and spin. So one more time. Starting. If you want, you can start your feet side by side. I personally think it's easier to start with your kicking leg behind you. Because that way it gets even more momentum to come across. And it turns you all the way around. Okay. Do about five times each leg, and then we'll add in our next section. In and spin. Then the other direction. Five times, just like so. Let me take a look here. In and turning around. Good, Mr. Mike. Hey, Mari, can you open up your video just so I can check if you're doing this correctly? Then I'll let you. Now I can't see your feet. All I see is your head. Is there a way you can tilt your screen down or lift it up, Tom? Okay. So in. Do your kick first and then turn. So nice straight leg. Like this now. Straight leg. Turn. Yes, that's it. Exactly right. All right. All right. Once we've got that much, like 
open this back up to me. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add on. So we're going to take that inside crescent kick. We're going to turn ourselves around, and then we're going to go into an outside crescent kick with the other foot. So this is what it looks like. In, out. One foot, other foot. In, out. Okay. So you're actually using both feet in this. I'm going to show you this way. So one leg comes around, in, out. So about yeah, five times or so each leg, and we'll add on. Say again, Mr. Mudd, what'd you say? Was there a spin? Did you spin all the way around or was it just? There was a spin, so let me show you again. So what we're doing, foot coming across, we're turning, and then using the other foot. Here, turn, and then the other foot. Yes, just like that. Mm -hmm. Good. Mario, how you doing on that one? Yes, no, maybe, doing good. Okay, let me check this real quick. Nice. Now about five times each side and then switching over. And Mr. Haynes, this uh, question real quick, something that just popped into my head. Oh, and Crab's coughing, talk to some people. Yeah, go ahead. After we finish with our split challenge this week, will there be a different challenge That's for true. next week? Yeah. I'm sure there will there. be, but I'm not sure what that will be just yet. Okay. Just curious. That's all I had. I've just, the split challenge came up on my feed and I was like, well, I think that's a good <laughs> idea. Maybe we'll do a front split challenge. Hey, that would be a good idea. You're right. All right, guys, once we have the idea for that one, now we're going to add one more kick into this so we get a three kick combo. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one leg, we're going to go inside, stop, outside, spin. Actually kind of turn into a heel kick. So actually all three kicks will be done with one foot if you do this correctly. I did it with both feet just to kind of get you the idea of it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go inside, outside, it lands behind me. And that's when I go into the spin. I'm going to show you this way. In, out, lands behind, and I turn. So all three kicks with the same leg. In, out, and the spin. Give it a try about five times or so each leg. In. Out and spin. Nice job, Mr. Mr. Mud there. Good, good, good. Now make sure you guys are taking your time because we're spinning so much. What you want to do, <laughs> yeah. What you want to do is you spot. So they do this in dancing a lot. When they are turning really fast, they whip their head around and focus on one point, and that helps them to not get as dizzy as quickly. So once you're turning around, whip your head first and then body, legs, everything else comes later. In, out, sit. Head should always go first in a spinning technique. Find it and then kick. If you can't see it, you can't hit it. How are we doing, Mari? All right. All right, from here, guys, let's go ahead and let's put a, a pin in that one. There are more things we can do with that. 
We can add both legs in. You can go in, out, and then the other foot. You have spins, jumps, tornadoes. There's more things we can do with that. But for now, let's go to go ahead and let's do kind of an across the floor drill with our form techniques. So I want you to kind of, whatever space you have, start on one side of the room and you're gonna work your way across and back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our left foot, we step out, we do our palm heel, just like in the form, right in the middle, two punches, step up and repeat. Going down to one side, once you hit one side, you're gonna take the other foot and step out and repeat it, going off the other side. And then we pull up. A bit still on here. My metronome app has disappeared. I think there's one on this iPad up here, but it's not dead. And it is, what about this one? And both of them are dead. Let's see if I can download one real quick, won't take long. And then what we're gonna do guys, once I get this up, is we will add timing into it. So hand and feet landing at the same time. That one. All right, while that's going, Let's go ahead and let's get into the next section of that. So again, starting on one side of the room, with me, we're gonna step out, we do our palm heel. Now from here, I want you to check your stance. Are both of your feet pointing forward? Are your knees bent? Is your back straight? Those three things are probably most important in the sitting stance. Toes forward, knees bent, back straight. And then two punches. And then we're gonna shift square and repeat palm heel two punches square and repeat i almost went on to the next move <laughs> give it a try how is it going here all right we're opening up this app here and then we're ready to rock and roll so what i'm going to do so you guys can hear it, I'm gonna disconnect my earpieces just for a moment so you guys can hear the metronome better. Start at a, a moderate kind of general speed here. I'll do about eh, 65. Hold on, do, do, do. Can you guys hear that? Yes or no, maybe? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is with the tones of the metronome, you're going to step out and every time you hear one of the clicks, you're going to do a move. Click, 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 click. Okay. In that motion. So let's just start back at just the palm heel and the two punches just to start. Click, click, click. Click, 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 like that. You guys, let me turn this on. I'll bring it down just a hair slower just to start. And actually, I'll raise up the frequency so it's easier to hear. There you go. When you're ready, go for it. Just like so. Now, I'm not going to watch because I know that 
time is a little bit delayed on what I'm hearing and what I see. So whatever you're hearing, go with it. Now something to think about as you guys are going through. Hand and feet, timing. So not only are we trying to make, trying to make our feet go with the timing, but I want my hand to also pop out at the same time. So we don't want it to be foot then hand, or hand then foot. Everything happens together, okay? Keep it up, couple more seconds and we're gonna add. It keeps going. I can't hear the, the beeping. You can't hear it? Well, I hear it, then it stops. And I hear it sometimes, and then it completely stops. Is everyone else hearing it the whole time? Well, I'm not sure. I can hear it, but well, that's because I have it. Maybe something wrong with my speaker. I mean, yeah, it's the same with me. You can't quite hear it? Okay. So I'm hearing you just fine, but. Turn, can you turn? Maybe the frequency. I don't know if it's the speaker turn. Oh, is it your microphone that you're worried about? Trade? No, I've got it coming from my phone. I actually don't have it connected to the microphone right now. I see. I see. Turn down the frequency. Maybe that, maybe the. Turn it down. It's uh, too high of a I, I'll turn it down. Because your voice never cuts out and it's a much lower frequency than that tick. So I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Sorry, I put my microphone off my ear for a second because I was trying to. All right, let's give this a try. I was trying to talk to my Bible study going on at the same time. So, sorry, guys. All right. Is that better? I can hear it. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> All right, give it a try. I hear it. Okay, so we'll keep it there. Oh, now it went blank. It's turned off now. I don't know, I can't hear it. I'll, I'll turn my own on if I can. I don't hear it anymore. You don't hear it anymore? Oh, that's interesting because it's not stopping. We just did our round, so how everybody's doing. I don't hear it anymore either, Trey. Oh, that's interesting. It must have something to do with the microphone and the computer or something coming through. I'm not sure, but we'll maybe, just the, my, my, maybe the computer is filtering it out as background noise. Possibly. So sometimes they have that. Possibly. So we'll just have to try that another time when we're back in person and I can use the speaker system. <laughs> All right, but that is something that I do encourage you guys to try if you want at home, get a metronome app. They're usually free. I mean, they have paid ones, but you don't need it. App and set it to however many speeds. The one I just downloaded, it can go up to, I think 500 beats per, per minute, which is ridiculously fast. You won't need to go that fast. But just kind of try it out and do your movements with the clicks of the metronome to work on that hand and feet timing and kind of get that internal clock moving. Something that you can use. Really good tool there. Okay. And that goes for kind of anything you do. It can be as simple as stepping forward and punching. You can work with a metronome that way. All right, guys, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take a real quick gander at our form, take a few minutes with that, and then we'll get into our split challenge, and we should be about done from there. All right, so from here, Junmi stands for our form. So our feet are together, knees are relaxed. Stand too long with your legs straight and locked, you'll pass out. Trust me, been there, done that. Left hand on the top, twin arch low. With me, step out. 
palm heel right in the middle. You do this by moving your arm in, not your shoulders. Two punches. Hands come to the side, chamber for that square block. I'm gonna shift my stance, square block. Reach, palm down, reverse upset punch. Push, other hand comes to the hips. Extend the stance, punch. Body should be sideways here. Chamber. Feet to come together, chop, downward knife hand, stepping all the way through for the last move in that punch and that good front stance. So what I would like you guys to do is as you're going through these different moves, because at this point, I think you guys pretty much are kind of good with it. Check and adjust your stances and all your techniques before you move on to the next one. So we're going to step out, boom, check, adjust if you have to, and move on. Boom, check it. Are your feet in the right position? Do I need to adjust? Do I need to bend my knees? Where are my hands? Those kind of things. If you don't know what you're looking for, raise your hand or you know, call it out. We'll help you out. And go from there. Should be a, a thick stance there, Mr. Mud. So what, it, what a fixed stance is, is you're in, your feet are in the shape of an L. So it's like a back stance, but it's longer. And your weight is distributed 50-50 on each leg. So one this way, one that way. Yeah, both knees are bent just like that, yep. Now, one thing to think about, guys, this is a smaller detail. When I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see a little bit bigger, tilt this down so you can see my feet. When you're coming with your feet coming together, so we have our fixed stance punch. When you come together for your chop, your heels should be together, but not your toes. Okay, so this is kind of an opened, kind of closed stance position. So my feet are still in that L, but just the heels come together, not the toes. Chop and stepping through, okay, here to here, keeping the feet open, okay, small detail there, like I always say, small details matter. Okay, so Mira, we had just about enough time Let's gonna go ahead and go into our split challenge for today. We're gonna stop there. Split challenge is five minutes, 12 yeah, seconds. The to do that, but really, I got it, yep, minutes. I got your timer. Five minutes, five minutes 18 seconds, 18, 18 seconds. 18. Five minutes, five 18. 18. We got All this, right, especially on it. that slick towel floor. That <laughs> slick wood floor there, Mr. Mud. Have fun with this. Mari said X EXE has stopped working. That's uh that's computer code. Ah. Her okay. executable files stopped working. Oh, I got okay. you, girl. <laughs> I understand you. All right. Five minutes, eighteen seconds. Here we go. Let's go. Time is started. Mm -hmm. It's already started, ma'am. Go ahead, get in it. Quit complaining. <laughs> Turn your camera on so we can see you do it.
Four minutes, 30 seconds left. There you are. Well, I see your window. <laughs> See the top of your head. Come on. One minute down already. You guys are doing good. Keep it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good. Four minutes to go. Three minutes, 30 seconds, keep working. Keep going, three minutes left. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Over halfway done, guys. Keep it up. Is that Miss Kara in the background there, Mr. Mudd? She want to hop in on this split challenge? <laughs> She's like, uh-uh. She's like, nope. <laughs> hey. One minute, 55 seconds left. Keep it up. You can sit on him, you know. Yeah, jump. <laughs> Come on, girl, stay in that split. Almost done. You're in the home stretch, okay? Come, come on. One minute, 30 seconds. One minute, 30 seconds. Keep working. You got this. Why are you doing this? Well, Mr. Jackson did his earlier. I did mine I did. earlier. So there you go. <laughs> You guys don't know this. I do it a couple times a day <laughs> with you guys. One minute left, home stretch. No pun intended. <laughs> 50 seconds. Thirty seconds. Almost there. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, done. Good job. All right, awesome. Now bring it in nice and easy. Go ahead and stand up. Do some hip circles, knee circles, kind of relax everything, bring it back to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> I feel you, Mr. Mudd. I know how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there with you. 
I'm not as young as Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson just hops up and spins and does all this craziness. Uh, not like I used to. <laughs> All right, guys. Awesome job, everyone. Keep working hard. Uh, if you want to try that metronome drill that we were attempting <laughs> to work on, you know, get a metronome app, give it a try. They're free. You know, set a, a decent little speed that works well for you, and then just kind of speed it up as you go along. You can start easy with something like punches, and then go into different techniques and working on that timing. Works really well. So keep it up, guys. Um, now, since both of you guys are on the Louisville side, we got all of our stuff together just to kind of give you a heads up what's going on with your certificates, belts, and t-shirts. We got all the stuff together. We're probably going to ship that out within the week since we have it all set up, and you guys will have that coming to you soon. Yeah, t-shirts uh, came in, belts good. came in, uh, so we are good to go, I believe. Yep. Yeah, it's all We're sitting there in the little tub. Sitting in the tub behind the counter, so it'll be out to you soon, guys. So that's all I got for you guys. Have a wonderful day. Well, night rather. <laughs> and I'll see you all next time on the mat.